What's happening to Pongram here, Kali Center. Today we are kicking off week three on our drill a day series, which means this is our first drill on Espada Adaga. So make sure that you have a training bolo or a stick and something that represents a training knife. If you do not have a training knife just like this, just use a shorter stick or you can use a spoon. You can use anything that would be short in your other hand. So we have a long weapon and a short weapon. Long and short. This is Espada Edaga. So let's go ahead and kick it off with drill one, which is really drill 15 of the series, but it's drill one on week three, Espada Edaga. All right, for this drill, this is a one zillion count movement drill. Just kidding, it's seven movements. That's what we have in this drill. A total of seven movements. So we're just gonna, again, as we did with the previous weeks, we're gonna start off with the basics, very simple today. And then we'll go ahead and just kind of gradually uh, advance it up a little bit. All right, so here's what we got. Everything's gonna be on the high line for today's drill. We have seven movements. We're gonna strike our one, and then we're gonna strike our two, and then we're gonna fire this quick jab right there, right out of the center line like that. Now, when we're doing these, look at my left hand. It's starting here at the plexus. When I strike my one, it slides down to the hip. As I strike my two, it comes back to that plexus, and then it fires out that jab. We can't leave it here, because when we fire a one, you're gonna end up like thrusting yourself in your, in your own arm right there, and you're not gonna look so cool when you're thrusting yourself in your own arm. So we have to, understand what that left hand, what that Daga hand is doing right there. Okay, so that's the first part. That's the first three movements of the drill. One, two, and three right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we have the movements three and four. This is where we're making the Daga transition to the backhand side. So it's one, then we're gonna pass the Daga over the top. We strike our two, see how that gets it to the backhand side and then we strike that jab again. Okay, so the whole drill, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movements right there. Right, let me show you guys this from a couple different angles, get some different views. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven right there, from here. All right, and again from the other side. Right there. All right, so once you have that down, take it nice and slow in the beginning, okay? And then you can, you know, start to speed it up as you are progressing through your rounds. Let's go ahead, get round one in together, take it nice and slow, use round one, just kind of learn the drill, get familiar with the movements, and then when you're on round two, you can start working on that memory retention of the drill, and then round three, you can start working on the fluidity, and each round slowly start increasing the speed and intensity levels and all that stuff. All right, let's go ahead, take a look at it. Now, we got 10 reps, of the drill that equals one round, okay? So we'll do round one together, and then just like all the previous weeks that we've done, then you guys get to go off and finish your other nine rounds. All right, let's do it, starting off right here. Um, do, 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 do. What's gonna be the best thing? Let me angle it just a little bit, so that way you can see better the activity of the, uh, of the left hand, okay? So from here we have one, two, Three is the jab on the knife. Four is another angle one. Five, passing the daga through. Six, striking that angle two on the espada. And then another high jab right there on uh, the seventh strike. All right, that's rep one. Rep two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Rep three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
All right, rep four, nice and slow. Just keep it nice and slow like this. Make sure you can see every line, every technique that you're delivering. Okay, rep five. Rep six, slow, but we're gonna smooth it out. So it seems faster. Because remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. But we're still going the same slow speed, it's just smoother, so it appears to be faster. Okay, I think we're on what, seven? Go ahead and call it seven. Number 10, that's the minimal requirement of reps per round. Eight. But if you want to do 12 reps per round, if you want to do 20 reps per round or 100 reps per round, the more beast you are, go for it. All right, I think we're on nine, right? I usually don't count my reps when I'm training. I just kind of train. Ten. We're going to do two more for this one. We're going to speed up 11 and 12 just a little bit. Here's 11. And 12. Okay. As you're progressing through your rounds, the important thing is, is that as you're speeding up the movements, the drills, make sure that you are still focusing on the fluidity of the movements. You want everything to transition smoothly. We don't want it to, you know, be all choppy like this. In the beginning of round one, it's okay to pause some things you know, out there. So that way you're just kind of burning those positions and you know, the movements into your, into your brain. But then that's why the second half around one will start to smoothen things out. Cause when you're going nice and slow like that, okay. And you're able to eventually start building that slow and smoothness. It's going to help to download the drill and the movements into your memory a lot better. So just start slow like that, gradually build up your speed. And as you're doing that again, do not forget the smoothness of your training. Okay. Later on, then it's, you know, then you can kind of, you know, look at when, when to break the timing of certain things and all that as, as you're, you know, progressing and everything. But right now let's work the coordination, build the coordination. Okay, that's number one. And then we can start looking at forming and building that agility. All right, there you got it. That is drill number one on the Espada Adaga from week three, kicking it off. This is area three of Kali. Espada Adaga is the third area of Kali. So work it out. And then once you've got it down in the comments below, let me know, done, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up the video if you're enjoying this training series. If you're still training with me, give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already. And then head on over to KaliCenter.com. I got a code in the description box right below. I'm extending my discount super awesome deal on our Kali Apex training and also on our DVD downloads. So you can go find that discount code right below in the description box and then also you can check out the links and uh, shop around and see if that if there's any training materials that you would like to grab so that way you can continue your training with us here at Kali Center and uh, you know bring it up to that next level of advancement. All right guys, I'll catch you back here tomorrow as we continue on the second drill on the Espada Daga. <laughs>